Paris, Russia, starting in like 10 minutes. Maureen, did you connect all the specials onto the menus? Yes, ma'am. Simone, honey, you're going to have to move faster than that. Monday morning, we get hit hard. Yes, ma'am. Now, Simone, if you don't remember something, just ask questions and just keep pouring the coffee. Coffee. Yes, ma'am. Honey. Coffee. Yes, ma'am. Now, this coffee's not prepped. Where's Callie? Has anybody seen Callie? Her car's not in the parking lot. Well, somebody text her. Pootie, did you write the specials on the board? I did it when I first come in, when I was soaking the ham hock. Darlene, it don't say no more on the menu about the eggs being half price that they're cooked like rubber. Oh, that's because Pootie's been cooking them runny for the last couple of days. And I'm not going to be giving everybody half price over anything they want to complain about. <clears throat> When's Pootie gonna get those new glasses she's been talking about? She can't hardly see what she's cooking. I thought she was supposed to get them like two weeks ago. Hey, Pootie, when are you gonna get those new glasses? They're coming. I got one good eye, and if I squint pretty good, I can still see it. <laughs> Darlene, what's a breakfast potato? A what? <coughs> a breakfast potato. Where are you seeing that? It's right there on the specials board. What's in that? A swamp. Pootie, for the love of Pete, would you get those glasses? That's a burrito. <laughs> That's eggs, cheese, tomatoes, and the, our pretty OK Cafe salsa. And that comes in bland, peppy, and flame-throwing hot. And the code for that is? B-U-R with B-P-R-F. I thought we went over that yesterday, Simone. There was a different special yesterday, biscuits and crazy. That's gravy. Well, was I the only one that didn't know that? Okay, so we got the silverware rolled, the ketchups are filled, the sugar caddies are done, the syrups are not done yet. Now, come on, girls, these truckers are gonna be pulling in any minute. Where is Callie? I've texted, but I've not heard back from her. It is not like her to be late. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Are you all right? I'm fine. You are not fine. Uh, where's the syrup? I need to fill the syrup. What happened? Nothing. Here, I'll fill the syrup. Take this and wipe your face. Thank you. Were you in a car accident? I was a mess when I got hit. No. Something happened at home. I don't want to talk about it. Are you now, are we still doing biscuits and crazy? <laughs> That's gravy. And today we're doing a burrito. Okay. What's wrong? You get mugged? No. I, no. Are you sure you don't want to talk about this? Yes. No. I, I'm horrible. What did you do? I yelled at Tommy. Honey, everybody yells at their kids. Oh, no. I didn't just yell. I screamed. I, we're in the car line for the school drop-off, and, and I got three minutes to get them to the door. And Well, there's four cars kind of inching along in front of me, and with two minutes to go, he suddenly announces that he forgot his lunch again, and he's going to need lunch money. Well, I turn around to say, what? And I look, hmm, there is this big old grease stain across the front of his jacket, his brand new jacket. And I, I just blow. I mean, I am saying things I vowed never to say, ever. And I mean, they are just flying out of my mouth one after the other. And, well, I get to the car line and I realize that he's not saying anything. So I look back and the look on his face, I just, he just, he just scrambles out of the door all hunched over and I called to him to get him to look back and, and he did it. I mean, he never does that. Oh, now I can't go talk to him till after school. I mean, I mean, what kind of mother and I that cannot control her tongue? I mean, when will I ever change? Would anybody like some cheese grits? No, thanks. Well, my mom would blow up at me sometimes. Like a big blow. Well, I mean, this sounds like a big blow. Like a really, really big blow. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think that's helping. What? Well, that sometimes would just happen. And my mom, she'd later, she'd calm down and she'd ask for our forgiveness and she'd say she was sorry. Oh, I am sorry. I, I just, I never want to do that again. I mean, how will I ever change? Honey, if I had a nickel for every time I lost my temper or said something I didn't mean, well, I would have a lot of nickels. 
I once asked a woman if she was pregnant. She's just fat. <laughs> I wish I hadn't said that. <laughs> hey, these cheese grits look right to you. Oh, honey, we have all been there. We just don't want to live there. Well, then will you please tell me how I'm going to change? I mean, will you tell me one whit of difference this Christian stuff makes when I go and have my quiet time and then do something like this? Oh, sweetie, it's process. It is journey. Well, I'll tell you, I remember when Jack was seven, we were driving to Conroe, and he had already asked me to stop three times in the last two hours, so we did. So now he asked me a fourth time. I said, I am not stopping again. So I grabbed an empty water bottle, I handed it to him, and I said, pee in that. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> so a week later, I am in the car, you know, the van with all the kids. And Jack, we're driving somewhere and now. He's complaining he's thirsty and can we stop? <laughs> so I'm reaching around because I am not stopping again and I hand it to him and I said, here, drink that. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> and he says, mom, this doesn't taste right. <laughs> did I get it? No. I said, oh, stop complaining. So it's a little warm. It's fine. <laughs> now, that's the problem with you kids is you just got life too cushy. And I proceed to launch off on a whole list of all the ways these kids have been proving that point true till I glanced in the rearview mirror and I saw the bottle he was holding. I slammed the brakes. Everyone threw forward screaming. And thank goodness for seatbelts. Oh, honey, if I could tell you the number of times I have prayed that scripture, oh, God, put a guard over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Sometimes, many times a day. And here, sometimes many times an hour. And it does make a difference because, all right, I do not have it together. But I am light years from where I used to be. Although I miss those days when you'd scare the truckers. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes I'd scare myself. <laughs> Sweetie, I am going to be praying for you about this because this is a subject near and dear to my heart. Thanks. And maybe after the breakfast rush, you could run over to the school and ask them if they could let you talk to him for a few minutes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hey, you could always bribe him with some of my cheese grits. Pooty, that is oatmeal. <laughs> oh, kitty whiskers. I put cheese in the oatmeal. <laughs> Change the breakfast board, girls. It's gonna be a great morning. <laughs>